you said Allah come down what is the problem with this okay we have mr. Hassan is asking what is the problem hello yes mr. Hassan how are you my friend yeah, I'm good thanks thank you for texting me I appreciate your text uh, okay. you, you said can you can you uh, you know so people they can hear you as you know we are live on air and yeah. uh, as long as you are listening to me you what you said to me in the chat in the text I said so what if Allah comes down so what if Allah come down okay yeah you said he comes down okay Allah, in the hadith all right uh, Allah come down from where to where from the heaven from okay. the highest heaven okay to, he comes down to where to the lowest of to, to the, the lowest to heaven. Low, lowest heaven so when Allah he come down to the lowest heaven so he is now in the lowest heaven yeah okay but so why Muslim they say God cannot be inside his creation who said that all the Muslims because they say to you well Jesus is the in the flesh that is a creation of a man and then God is inside the, the, the creation that's not right they refuse to accept Jesus to be inside the creation as God, God inside the flesh, and yet you Muslims, you believe that God can go inside as a creation. So why the hypocrisy? What do you think? I'm not talking about you now. I'm talking about those hypocrites who they say God cannot be inside as a creation. So what do they refer to when they say that he cannot go into his own creation? They just say that. They say, you know, Jesus, uh, God cannot be inside his creation, and they talk about Jesus. And then we discover that the God of Islam is inside his creation. And I say this is a hypocrisy. Don't you agree with me? Because I mean, he can move. He can move around if he wants to. No, no, he's not moving around now. He is moving inside his creation. Do I agree? But what's the? Why would they say that? Um, I don't know. You don't ask me, my friend. This, this is what you Muslims they do. It's not me. And you ask him. But me, you're the, you're the one that said that. They said that they can't do that. That Allah can't do that. But yeah. you can do that. Yeah, or because they say that it's not suitable for God and Allah is all is Allah is big. They say Allah is so big. I don't know how big he is, but they say he's so big. But obviously he's not because he must be smaller than the space he is occupying. Correct? But but if God can do anything, then it okay. doesn't matter if well, he comes we will, down. We will go if Allah can do anything or not. Let us let me ask you. Okay. Uh, do Allah occupy a space? What do you mean? When you agreed with me that Allah, he go to the lowest heaven. Yep. Okay. And he is now in the, in. We can use the word in. Do you agree? In the what? In the, low, in the lowest heaven. In. We can use the word in, right? In the lowest heaven. Yeah. In. Yeah. Okay. okay. So he's in. So when we say in, is the opposite from out. In, he's inside the box, let us say. Let us say okay, one second. One second. Is huh? this hadith um, authentic? Well, you agree with it, but you don't know if it's authentic yet or not. No, because you're showing me a different one. No, I'm not showing a different one. All of them are the same. But your prophet, he keep talking. Okay? Your prophet is talking machine. He never stop talking. Even if he puts a king in his mouth. So, you know. So, our Lord, the blessed, the exalted, descended every night to the lowest heaven. Okay. Okay, so this is Sahih yeah. Muslim. I don't know which one you are referring to, but all of the okay, same. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. This is Sahih Muslim. Okay. So now is Allah is in? You agreed, right? In. He is in. Yeah. Okay. So as long as he is in, he is inside a space. Can Can I read the hadith? That sure. You're sure. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it on the screen? Yeah, it's in the screen. Okay. Our Lord, the Blessed and the Exalted, descends every night to the lowest heaven when one third of the latter part of the night is left and says, Who supplicates me so that I may answer him? Who asks me so that I may give to him? Who may ask who asks me forgiveness so that I may forgive him? So he descends every night to the lowest heaven. Okay. Okay. But now What's the question the problem. Let us go to my question. You keep repeating the same, my, my, my friend. Okay, go on. Okay. I, I, you told me this already. You told me even before you called me. What, what's the problem? Correct? We got this one. The All problem right. is that now yeah. Allah is occupying a space. In order to occupy a space, in order to move from point A to point B, yeah. you have to be a physical being. And... 
but we don't know what he looks like. That is another question. And did I ask you? Did I, did I say how he looked like? No, right? So, yeah. but do we agree he's a physical being? Yeah, if he's moving. Okay. But, but he can but be. He, he but, can be in different places at the same time. No, he cannot. Because he's God, he can do anything. No, no, you see. So his Hold his on. body. No. Just, just if to, he has a body. No, just to prove that this is false. You know, I want you to think with me. I, I, I don't want to think with you. I want to. I don't want to think for you. I want. I want you to think with me. All you, right. Me and you, we agreed. Let me draw in the screen so we can understand. You okay. said you said that Allah He come down every night in the third part of the night. We agreed yep. upon this, right? Yeah. So in the third part of the night, where is Allah located? Uh, the lowest heaven. Okay, I will draw lines. This is number seven. This is number six. This is number five. This is four. This is three. And this yeah. is two. And this is one. We will make it extended because Allah will be here. So now Allah is in the heaven number one. Right? Wait, it's delayed. It's very delayed. No problem. <clears throat> Okay, I see the lines. All right. So now Allah is in the heaven number uh, number one, but is Allah yep. now in the heaven number seven? No. Okay. So that uh, destroy what you just said. You said Allah can be everywhere. He cannot because if he can everywhere, he do not even need to go anywhere. He just he, he's everywhere already. So I mean, like he's if he can see everything, no, then Allah, he, he can still be no, you in see, that place. The hadith in front of us prove that Allah cannot see and Allah cannot hear from everywhere. Allah have a short vision and short hearing because read carefully the hadith okay. saying here why Allah what is the purpose of Allah coming down every night <clears throat> um, that's true that's a good question okay he come down so he can hear you right Otherwise, maybe to <clears throat> maybe to make the Muslims feel closer so make well, you don't see him anyway. I mean, how, how closer you are. I mean, you are. Just, uh, come on. Does, does it really make a difference for me if he's in seven heaven or lowest heaven? Still, he's so far. I can't see him. Right? That would make a difference if he's just, you know, he come to the whole street and he's just there, or he come in the bushes like what happened to Moses, right? But this is not what happened. He's too far. We don't see him. You know, the lowest heaven is where the stars are. Correct? The lowest heaven, according to the Quran, is the location of the stars. It's not even in the atmosphere. Where does it say that? Oh, okay. <clears throat> let, us, let us go and see. You can go and read. Some people say the lowest heaven is the sky. No. Not the stars. It's a sky, yeah. But a, it's the word sky in Islam is used in the Quran. But the Quran okay. des decide that the lowest heaven is where the, uh, the star is located. Let us go to the Quran. <clears throat> Chapter 41. Okay, one second. Verse. Let me open my Quran. No problem. Take your time. I can send you a link if you want to help you. No, it's okay. Chapter 41, verse number 12. It says, He completed them as seven firmament. Excuse my English. You know, English my English is funny, like Zach and I, you know, <laughs> what I it's can right. do. So, Seven firmament, something like that, you know. In two days, and then he assigned to each heaven its duty and command. And then we adorned the lower heaven with lights. The word in Arabic is masabih. Masabih is the stars. Do you see it? Wait, can you sh tell me the chapter and the verse again? Chapter 41, verse number 12. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, I can see it. Hmm. So now we agree, me and you, based in the Quran, based on Christian print thinking, that the lowest heaven is where the lights, the stars are, right? Yeah, the lamps. Right, lamps. Yeah. Exactly. So now we go back to the hadith. So okay. Allah, he is not really getting close in any way. I mean, still he is too far. I mean, this is where the, the, the stars are located, so... That is really too far. So we go back here. This hadith. Yeah, that's true. All right. Because they're millions of miles away. Exactly. 
and this is very funny i mean you just said the word millions of miles away but your prophet he went to the top of a donkey you know like and he went all the stars he passed the stars to heaven number two heaven number three heaven number four heaven number five heaven number six and number seven and then all but of that's this. um that's a miracle though uh, it's a miracle because you're a donkey my friend this is the miracle my guy you see how it wasn't a donkey it was a i forgot the name it is a donkey it's called al Burak. It's a, it's a, it's yeah, that's a beast. That's a beast. It's a beast. Okay, well, uh, he, he, he eats grass, so how is a beast? You know, he's a donkey. He's, a, he's from the horse family. He's a donkey between the donkey. And let me show you how your prophet, he described him. All right? He described yeah, but him. He could, he could describe him as an earthly animal, but it could still yeah, be. He's an, so he's an animal, you know, he can, he can describe him as an animal, but he's not an animal. He's an animal. That's why he ride him. He, he was an angel? No. He wasn't anyone. But Allah, Allah can do anything, so he can ah, make Allah it. Allah can do anything, back. yeah. But no, Allah, he says, that the angels or his affair, he deal with it in a day of our time equal to 1,000 years, a, a day of his time equal to 1,000 years of our time, right? So even the angels, even Jibreel, cannot pass that speed, which is 1,000 year in our time for one time to go down. What are you reading? The Quran. I can't see on the screen. The Quran. Oh, you're prefer... not reading Hadith. No, I, I prefer to use the Quran, you know, because the Quran is the, the you know, the highest, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. Let us okay. see. Let us show you the Quran. <clears throat> I still don't get what the problem is. The problem is, uh, yeah, we are mixing things together now, but it's okay. Uh, when your God Allah he come down to the third part of the night to yep. a location he is occupying a space and he is a physical being who is inside a space always do you agree with that yeah okay as long Allah is inside a space always that's mean the space have to be exist before his existence Otherwise, where Allah will put Himself? But then that's like that's the same thing as um, replacing Allah with Jesus. No, you see, Jesus, His existence had nothing to do with His birth. Jesus says before Abraham, "I am," which means He's not born as a man yet, but He exists as God. But so, did He create space? He creates space, but he do not need a space to be inside a space. Your God now, you see. So what is he inside? So what is he inside? He's not inside he's anything. Not... Our God is a spirit. Spirit do not need That's... to be in a spirit. That, you see, this is why the spirit is. A, the, the, if, if I ask you what the spirit is, do you know what spirit is? Um, no, not really. Well, I'm not surprised because even your prophet, they ask him the same question. And he asked his God and his God, Allah told him, Allah knows best. <laughs> <laughs> where did he say that chapter 17 verse number 85 they ask you concerning the spirit Muslim they put between bracket and inspiration which is false because in Arabic it says arwa means spirit say to them Allah knows best <laughs> so even the God of Islam you do not know what the spirit is have you yeah, ever, but in, have in, you ever in Islam we don't know the questions to every everything and this no, question friend, doesn't really okay. make a big difference. But when, but, but when you're God, he says, I do not, I mean, okay, he claimed that only Allah knows, but they are asking you. They are asking him to ask Allah, and now Allah is answering, so he said to them, it's a, it's a the command of Allah, Allah, only Allah knows. But, but what, is the, what is the answer? But why do we need to know this? My friend, they ask him, and now Allah decides to answer. Yeah, but... His, need, his need, answer why was why, why we do not need why we do not need you see yeah we, Allah when, says you don't when, need to know this. no 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 you see this is this is a, because he have no idea what to say you know this, he have he have no idea what to say when you have no idea you know if I am a teacher teaching you mathematics and you ask me a question about mathematics and then I say to you him you do not need to know that to that why is that I'll answer the question it's knowledge is school so if God he sent a book and this is the book of guidance and then we ask for guidance and God says you do not need to know that's just silly. Especially Does it not say that anywhere in the Bible? What, what do you mean? Nowhere it says don't ask God. No, like it, does it not say 
that you don't have the answers to all your questions. You know, they, they never asked Jesus a question. He said, I don't, I don't know. Ask, ask, you know, this, that's not true. So the, the spirit is a very simple thing to answer, from, especially from someone who's God. And I'm not God. I can answer what the spirit is. You know? The spirit is a... But the, when, the spirit. When, um, when Muhammad says Allah is in space, or when Allah says that, I don't know where you found that. Well, my friend, um, you, you forgot. Uh, do you have a short memory like Zach and I? Because were you referring to the Quran my friend, or the Hadith? No, my friend, doesn't matter. If, when Muhammad says Allah, he come down every yeah. third part of the night. He is saying Allah is in the heaven, correct? Yeah. And you're asking me where Allah he says that. So are you saying Muhammad is lying about Allah? No, but you, you use the word space. Well, because the heaven is a space. We agree that it's even this is where the stars are. Yeah, but he created it before himself. Doesn't matter. Okay, he created the star. Okay, this is go back, back to zero. I will slow down with you. Okay. Okay, as long I am in a space and I go between the spaces, so which means yeah. and we agree that he's a physical being. So in yeah. order for this God to be exist in a location, he have to have a space before he can be there. Correct. But maybe he moved there. Okay, I will go with you. Maybe he moved, guys. He took a U-Haul and he moved. This is what happened actually here. Allah is moving. Allah is moving from point one to point seven or seven to one, vice versa. Okay. So Allah is moving between the spaces and yeah. he is inside the space. But before this space was created, that means the existence of Allah is impossible. Because Allah have to be in a space in order to be exist. No, but He's God. He doesn't need no, anything no, no, to hold exist. On. You see, you see, He's God. You see, Muslim, you remember He's God when He want. You forgot that He's God when He want. He, he wasn't God when He moved from seven. But heaven. God can move. He can move if He wants. Okay, to. so he, so this is has His nature. Then okay, I'm going to help you more. I want you to okay. focus uh, to focus with me. You're a nice person, by the way. Uh, you know, I like talking to you. Thank you. You see, this is how you know a person is coming from a good parents. And I can't tell this person they have a good parents because they taught their son how to speak kindly. And he's a nice person. So say, send my greeting to your family. And to your mom specifically. Thank you. She's a good woman. So listen carefully. Uh, do Allah have a shape? Um, yeah. Okay. When we say shape, what does that mean? It can mean anything. I know you said in a video once that okay. it has to be a square or a circle, but no, shapes no, no, can no. come in. No, it cannot be. It doesn't have to be. No, I never said it have to be square or no. Shape. He's a unique, unique shape. Doesn't, okay, he's a unique shape. That's wonderful. No, no problem. So Allah have a unique shape, but at the end of the day, it's a shape, correct? But he can change into something that isn't a shape. That's wonderful. That's it doesn't the, always have are, to be a shape. You are making it even easier for me. You see? Why? Because you just said Allah is a changeable. Yeah, so. Okay. He can do so, whatever he wants. All right. So, can Allah be a man? Yeah, if he wants to. He so, can. why you refuse Jesus to be God and man in the same time? Because I don't know anything much about Christianity. Now, this is another question now. If it's possible for God to be whatever he wants, and he even yeah. he can be a man, and you just said and you agreed that he changed his shape. Well, why this God cannot be a man? He can be. I just he told him he can. Okay. So those Muslims who say he, they can, he cannot, they are yep. insulting Allah, correct? Because if Allah is God... No, because not all of them agree with this. No, this is Because I know some of them say that he can <laughs> and some of them say he can't do okay. that. Okay. But okay, what is the shape of Allah? Uh, I don't know. He's a shame. What do you mean he's a shin? Shin, shin. You know what shin mean? I know what a shin is, but why do you say that he's a shin? I'm not saying that. It's your prophet. How the Muslims will recognize Allah from his shin? Read carefully. The prophet, you know, he's talking about Allah changing his shape. Read carefully okay. here. And then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. And he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. So imagine the Muslim now they are rejecting Allah himself yeah. just because he changed his shape. And this is what the Muslim do today to Jesus. 
They didn't like the shape of God as a man. They wanted to be something different. And then none will speak to him, but the prophets, and then it will be said to them, do you know a sign which you can recognize him, which means Allah? They will say the shin. And yeah. then Allah will uncover his shin. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So when we, saw, we spoke about the shape of Allah, now we are yeah. not really confused anymore about how Allah's shape is. He is a shin. He can choose to have show whatever he wants to show. But no, this is the original shape of Allah. Because Allah, first, how do you know? Well, the hadith says that because Allah, He changed His shape. He come to them. They said to Him, "You are not Allah." Why? Because He changed His shape. And then, in order for the Muslim to recognize Him, you know, He come back with the original shape, which is the shin. Okay. So what's the problem? I don't okay. Understand. So the original Allah is a shin. The changeable Allah is something else we do not know. The hadith doesn't say how he come to them, what look look like it, you know? But it doesn't say he is a shin, it says he will un uncover his shin. Exactly. So he's... Well, like, well, when I uncover my shin, that's mean I am you know, this is what I uncovered. Did he uncover his face? He has a face. Okay, so maybe the shin is his face. No. Well, how do you know? You said he's unique. Because it's referring to his shin specifically. Okay, but how he is unique and he have a shin? Isn't it shin is something popular and everybody have it? But he can get rid of it if he wants to. Ah, how he can? He will, he, he will cut it off. <laughs> you are being funny now. He will. He what he would do? He will cut it off. He will do a surgery. He will go to Thailand and make a plastic surgery. Okay, but even if he has a shin, what's the problem? With this? You see, we don't want to jump like what's the problem? What's the problem? So now I'm trying to lead you slowly to where who where Allah and who is Allah. So now okay. we discover that Allah is in the lowest heaven. And now we discover that Allah, the true origin of Allah as a shape, is a shape, and we agree upon that. He is a shin. So now the shin of Allah is in the lowest heaven. And now Allah shin is which is Allah is asking you what you want to say to me. Correct? Yep. Okay. This shin, which is the way to recognize Allah, and this shin, which is obviously a physical body. And if I ask you what is made from, you will say, I don't know, correct? Yeah, but his shin doesn't have to be like the human shin. Exactly. It can be a different. I don't like Allah to have a human shin, my friend. I, I, I hate it. You know, if it's a, I, you know, there is a, there is a kind of shin I like, like a shin of a woman. You know, if Allah have a shin of a woman, that would be nice. But who cares, my friend? Don't be silly. You know, focus with me. I'm not insulting you, by the way. But okay. we need to be smart. As long Allah is recognized by His shin, that's yeah. mean. Is 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 it is it a, it is a shin because a human being cannot recognize it unless it is shin. You know what I mean? Because how they would recognize him from his shin? So if it is not like any shin, okay, we got that. But have to be a shin at the end of the day. You see, why Allah did not call it an arm? Why Allah called it shin? I don't know. Oh, because it's a shin. As simple as that. If I say a finger, okay, obviously it's a finger. You see, human being, he have a dictionary of images. All the words we have in our head, it is images. As an example, if I say to you a cup, a cup, in your brain, yeah. you don't have a cup, you have an image, correct? Okay, yeah. So even if your eyes are closed, now you can see an image of a cup, or you can imagine it. Why? Because already, imagine. Yeah, yeah. You already you have an, a stored image in your memory, like a computer. So when Allah He said to you a shin, He's given you an yeah. image, correct? Okay. And that image is similar to an image you have in your brain. So the shin of okay. Allah. It's just a shin. Doesn't matter how it looks like. It's a shin. It's an image stored in my brain, and this is how I recognize Allah. When I see anything look like a shin, eh, it's Allah. So that God, He is a shin. He is a physical being. He changes shape, and you agree with that. And you said Allah yeah. is a, a shape. His shape change, and you, you actually maybe because you watch my previous videos, right? This is why yeah. you are, you know, you are getting closer. And you do not need to explain to you. So no, but why? Why does it matter? It matters. I will show he, you. What I will show you why. He has a shin. Okay. okay. 
Allah, Allah, He is the creator of the universe, correct? Yep. Okay. Where was Allah before the universe was created? If He is a physical being, you see, the God of the Christian, He's a spirit. He do not need a physical space. Well, Allah could be a spirit as well. No. In Islam, uh, Allah is not a spirit. You can search it right now in Google. But it, He can because no, in no, the Quran. No, 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 my friend. You see, I will never say something to you unless I'm very sure. Do you agree with but me? But you proved it. You proved it to me. Prove it to you what? When you gave you gave me chapter 17, verse 85, yeah. it says, they were questioned thee concerning the spirit. So the spirit is Allah. Well, so he the, is no, the Muslim con the consider the spirit is the creation of Allah or he's talking about the Holy Spirit, which is Jibreel. None of them have to do with Allah. The spirit is in... Um, they're talking about Allah here. No, the spirit. No, my friend. The then why did you use why did you use that to say that um, you asked, Muhammad yeah, doesn't know? No, you see what Allah is. It's not up to you. It's not up to me. Every single Muslim, he will say to you, there is a spirit and there is the spirit or the Holy Spirit. Muslims, in their false belief, fiction belief, they believe that the Holy Spirit is Jibril. Correct? Oh, this um, verse is talking about the angel. No, no. You see, you just said yourself, okay, okay, I will go with you. Because the, you said, the word, you said the it word, was talking about angel. No, no. The word is the spirit. The spirit does not say angel, right? But the Muslim, they claim that when Allah say the spirit, he speak about the angels. This is not me. This is not my definition. So Islam is a religion based on believing that the spirit, which is in the command of Allah, that is the angel of Allah, specifically the angel Jibreel, which is, according to Muslims, the Holy Spirit. Are we getting the point? So, when, yeah. I, when I discuss Islam with you, I don't discuss what you think, I discuss Islam. Islam is this. Islam, believe that this spirit is Jibreel. But why does he have to be a spirit to not to exist before? To oh, not exist so now before. we go to back to Allah. So, no. As long as the Muslims agree that Allah is not a spirit and it's not even one of his attribute, you can go right now to Google search. But even even if they disagree, why do you have to be a spirit um, just to saying, exist no, no, before? No, I'm not saying he has creation. to be. No, no, I'm not saying he has to be. I'm saying now because he is a physical being, yeah. and this physical being is moving between point A and point B, so this physical being he need always a space to be exist somewhere. Otherwise, he would be out of his space, and that's impossible. You cannot create, let us say, a TV. No, but he doesn't. He doesn't because he's God. He can do anything. No, he cannot. Uh, this is the proof in front of you. You see, if but he... you're you're doing the same thing that you tell others that you say they cannot. No, that no, God no, no, cannot no, 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 no. You see, I am not saying he cannot do because I am saying he said that. Read carefully. How Allah he listen to you? How Allah he hear you? He come down every third part of the night so he can listen to you. So if Allah obviously he can hear you from far distance and he can do everything, then Allah do not need to come down every third part of the night. That is a horrible duty for God. And but you know, he's doing it out of love and stuff. Okay, like uh, do you need to come down out of love? You, you know, he's coming Well, not to, love, but just to make you closer to My God. friend, no, no way it says what you are saying. This is, you are making now your own fiction story. He comes uh, down, he says, who is praying for me? So either he is coming down literally, and all the Muslims agree that this is literally, not metaphorically. Mm. Even Muhammad, he mentioned the time of the night when he come. And he says literally in Arabic, Yenizilu Rabbuna. Allah, he descend down. So yeah. he did not say the vision of Allah, the hearing of Allah, uh, to make it metaphorical. He says, Allah himself is coming down. So when Allah is coming down, He's coming down inside a space and moving between a space. So now let us go to the point where before Allah created the space which He is in, what there was, do you know? Uh, no. Okay, let us go and you know see your prophet because as I said, your prophet never stopped talking and that's very helpful. I haven't read like all of the hadith and Quran verses like you have, no like problem. memorized them. No problem. So I don't, I don't really know the answers to everything. Okay, <clears throat> let us go to the hadith and see. Can you tell me the the number? 
Sure, I'll, I will show you. I will show you everything. Because <clears throat> it's delayed. Let me find the height. Uh, okay. The first thing Allah He created in some hadith He says the pen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is. Uh, Agreed as Sahih. And it says <clears throat> that the first Allah he created, it was the pen. Is that, is that correct? Uh, I need to see the hadith first. I can give you the link, hold on. Just to make it easier for you. Oh, I see on the screen now. Oh, you see it, okay. Yeah. So the first thing Allah he created, the pen. Okay. Okay. There was no heaven. Okay. Yeah. Where, where was Allah? He was. He knows where he was. I don't know. No, no, no. See, as long as we agree that he's a physical being. Yeah. He need a space, because a physical being is a physical space. But he's God. He can. He doesn't need. It doesn't matter. Any but he is a God who is a physical being. And a physical being, we're talking physics now, we aren't talking about godly things, you know, we're talking physics. In order to be exist as a physical being, you need a physical space. Very simple. You know, when I say to you a shin, and this shin is a physical shin, is not a spiritual, that means that space have to be exist before your existence. Okay, but you know when Jesus was living on this planet, his, he had a spirit in, in the skies somewhere. We don't know where. You see, for us as a Christians, we don't uh, we don't uh, uh, really worry about that because we believe that Jesus came as a man and he lived inside the space and his body was a space too. So this is not an so, issue for us. No, that, it's, so it's, Allah that, can do that as no, well. No, Allah he cannot, because Allah, your God, he is saying he is unlike anyone. Number one, and this is something he took from the Old Testament, and the unlike anyone he claimed speaking about Jesus, he cannot be like Jesus. How do you know he was talking about Jesus specifically? Okay, here we go. Let us go to the Quran. Because <clears throat> if you can find that, then I have to, then I can see. All right. Okay. Why Allah don't have a son? Uh, I don't know. Because, you because he doesn't. No, because you don't have a girlfriend. Correct? Okay, but let's let's find this um, this one we were talking about. We are talking about the space now in the shape. Hold on. And he's not like Jesus. So all, all the talk Muhammad is speaking about Allah saying to him that Allah is not like Jesus. Okay. Well, how he is not like Jesus? You know? Yeah. Let me, let's see where he said that. Okay. Uh, let us go first then here. Okay. Okay. Read with me carefully here. Can you tell me the chapter and verse, please? We will go one by one because we will we have to show you, you know, a, a few of them first in order to reach the conclusion. Why Jesus is not God? Allah, He says, because He is a man and they used to eat food. I never saw this before. Well, chapter 5, verse number 75. He is a man. Five seventy-five. Yeah, him and his mother, because Allah, He think, or the one who wrote the Quran, think that the Christian believe that Mary is the wife of God, which is silly and that's not true. The Trinity is not Mary and Jesus and the Father. The Trinity is God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So the one who wrote the Quran, he have no idea what Christianity is about. So this is chapter seventy, uh, chapter five, verse seventy-five, speaking about. He said he said they both eat food, but he, he didn't say that. Um, it's a problem or anything. No, he's saying he's saying that he is a messenger, and he eat food. Why? Because he have body, correct? He have body. Okay. Okay. So, can your God eat food? If he wants to. But he said here that Jesus eat food. So, if God can eat food, and if it's possible for God to eat food, then it's possible for Allah to eat food, as you said. Then this but is. He's He's a messenger. No, no, hold on. No. You see, he is refuting people who believe that Jesus is God, correct? 
But he didn't because he just he no, 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 simply no, no. said no, 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 he no, no, needs no, food. No, 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 no. He is saying okay. that the, uh, the 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 Christian they say if you go to verse number seventy three, it okay, says that those that. who believe in the Trinity, they are kuffar. Okay, what is the Trinity according to him? Because he's ignorant, he thinks Trinity is the the Father, the Son, and Mary. So here, this is a refutation why Jesus cannot be God because he eat food. Are we following? Wait, let me read. Let me read seventy four now. One okay. Second. Okay, yeah, okay, makes sense. Okay, yeah. so now he is trying to refute them that Jesus is not God. Why? Because he eats food. But you agreed with yeah. me, Hassan, that God can eat food. If he wants to, he can. Exactly. So how come Jesus cannot? <laughs> you see, if, the, if this is a refutation and you agree with me that God, if he wants, he can. This is, this is but a, he, still, he still didn't say that. No, I can't. No, 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 he said that. He is refuting them why he is not God. Because the God of Islam, he thinks that Mary is God in Christianity and Jesus is God in Christianity. So in order to prove to them that God is not Jesus and God is not Mary. Is that Mary, what the scholars say as well? Yeah, exactly. No, did the scholars say this? Yes. Because he yes. simply said they both eat food. Yeah, because, because he's trying to prove that they are not God. Okay, this is why I showed you verse number 73, my friend. Have you got like tafsir for this? Sure. Where yeah. he's disproving. Sure, no he's problem. Disproving. Okay, uh, uh, chapter five, verse number seventy-five. Let's go there. Do you want? Do you like Ibn Kathir? Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What about Ibn Abbas? Hey, hold on. Can you we, not we will show you Ibn Abbas. Which one? Which one you want Ibn Abbas? Whatever you want, yeah. I will show you. Okay, because Ibn he was the cousin of the Prophet. Oh, okay. Well, give me a second to open Ibn Abbas. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. We go to Ibn Abbas. I will put the screen. This is Ibn Abbas. All right, here we go. Okay. And let us see. The Messiah, the son of Mary, was no other than a messenger. Actually, the verse itself explains itself. It says he is not more than a messenger, which means he's not God. Said to the people, messenger, like the like of whom had passed before him, and his mother was a saintly woman, and both uh, they eat earthly food, and they were both yeah. servant, and they eat food, so, O oh Muhammad, how we make the revelation, the sign of Jesus and his mother, we are not gods. Do you see it? Let me zoom okay. in. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, you said, and I respect that from you, yeah. that God, if you want, he can eat food. What's the problem? Okay, now it says that um, this is proof that he's not God. But I didn't see that. But you said to me, God, he can eat food. What's the problem? If he wants to, he can. Yeah, but so, but, but, but now, now I can't say that because I found out. Ah, see, Hassan, <laughs> see. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, so now we change in a second. Our, you know, come on, I, I said you are a decent man. Come I on. made a mistake. No, a mistake. no, no. See, Hassan, guys, Hassan, he made a mistake. <laughs> 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 still I like you Hassan, still I like you. See, Hassan, it's okay. Don't be ashamed of the stupidity of Allah. You see, <laughs> you are just admitting that your God is a stupid and your logic was smarter than his logic because obviously God, he can do whatever he wants. So what the big deal if he eat food or not? You know, if he's God, he's God. I mean, we call him God because he's almighty and almighty, he do whatever he wish. So suddenly, if if this almighty, he eat a sandwich, he is not God. He lost his godly. That's it. You are not God. You eat sandwich. <laughs> I saw Jesus eating shower, my brother. Did you see Jesus eating shower, man, his mother? I saw them with my eyes, brother. And then not only that, he said to him, I can you add more falafel? So your logic five two minutes ago was against this. <laughs> just less than less than 60, 60 seconds ago. 
And now Hassan, you change your logic. That's not right. Oh, but it was a mistake. It was a mistake. No, it it's not mistake. a mistake. It was a logical thing you thought about. But now, because, because if God can do anything, then obviously I thought he can. Ah, you thought, you thought, I like it now. So now we agree that your God, who you thought he can do everything, he cannot. But he still can, but he doesn't, no, no, he chooses no, 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 not no, to. No, 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 because if he can, that means this argument is false. Okay. It, it, I need to look into that a bit more. No, we are looking right now. Take your time. Okay. <laughs> Don't do the same as the Abdul who told me to give you a year to look at it. I, I never heard this before. Come on, you're smarter. <laughs> so, Hassan, listen to me. So, if he is God, God, he can do whatever he wants. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, how come suddenly God, he is disabled? You just disable your God. It's you who disable him. I don't know. Him. I don't know why he chooses not to. No, but no, no. he chooses it's to do what he wants to do. about choosing not to. You see, he's not choosing now. He is saying, you just agreed that this is the refutation. That means this God, he is saying clearly that God cannot eat food. Because he says he does he does not eat food. Not that he cannot. It's the same because if if let, let us slow together in the thinking. If Jesus, the Christian, they claim his God, and yeah. Jesus ate food, and then Allah said to them, Do you see he ate food? So he's not God. That's no, mean. the point the point they're making is that Allah doesn't need to eat food, but Jesus who did said, need to Who eat said food. that Jesus he need to eat food? Who said that? Where it says that and, Jesus and why did he why did he eat food then hold on Jesus in the Bible he, he fasts for 40 days non-stop yeah but he you eat in the morning okay. no 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 no, no he don't eat no this is not Ramadan we don't have Ramadan fasting he fasts totally from food totally 40 days he eat nothing so 40 days without food who can do that there's no human can stay for 40 days without food so Jesus, where's, where's the proof where's the proof of that it's in the Bible, you know, just to go right now to Prophet Google, peace upon him, and says Jesus, he fasts for 40 days. So No, no, I believe, I believe you, I believe you. Okay, so when Jesus fasts for 40 days, and he okay. eat no, f f no food, uh, he proved that he, is, he have the power which no man has. Because I cannot why, say... Why did he do that? Why did he fast for 40 days? Jesus, always everything he do is to, in order to teach us, you know? To teach us that how he can be because you know oh, okay i will say okay to jesus you are not sinner because you are god and you're asking yeah. me to be like you i mean this is not fair so now god is coming to us as a man yet yep. he still can be out of sin so jesus he said to us i can be the man under all the physical aspect of a man yet still i can fight sin and i can be victorious so when okay. jesus fast for 40 days this is not Ramadan he's eat all night and then he stop drinking and eating in the morning which is silly you know this is not fasting this is eating more so he was fasting totally and he broke the rules of a human being physically he can do it same time okay. Jesus he said to them to the Jews you can destroy this temple which means his body you can kill it then why why did he continue to eat afterwards if he can just not eat you see, at all. Uh, uh, the, the, the question is very simple. Jesus came as a man, so he's living between men, between a, between, within a human. He said to them, even he brought bread, and he said, everything Jesus he do for a reason. So when Jesus, he said, and he broke bread, and he says, this is my body, is broken for you. So obviously Jesus there is not to eat a dinner. Jesus there is to tell them and to teach them something. So even when Jesus is eating the bread, it was for the purpose of teaching, not for the purpose of food. Okay. When Jesus, he blessed the, 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 I don't know if you know the story, even if there's a verse in the chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah. Mm, I don't remember the names. Well, this is the chapter. same chapter we already hear about. Al-Ma'idah. Al-Ma'idah chapter 5, it's called Al-Ma'idah, yeah. which means the table. You know what the table is? No. The table of Jesus. When the disciples, according to Quran, according to Muslims, they asked Jesus, can you feed us? Can you send, can you make food come from the sky? Okay. Is that really a, 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 like a request you do to someone who is a prophet? If this is we can do for every prophet, then we should ask Muhammad the same request and Muhammad should do the same thing. 
Correct. But the Bible was one of the the good books. It's an amazing that book. came before the Quran. Exactly. But this is not the topic now. We aren't talking about the Bible, my friend. We're talking about Jesus. But you said that it came the table, whatever came from. No, 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 no. Okay, the I'm saying to you Bible. if why Muhammad cannot bring a table from heaven to feed thousands of people. The Quran mentioned the story. Okay, Jesus, Jesus he eat food, right? Yeah. Okay, and the Quran says that the Quran, the same chapter, with Jesus he eat food, but how come the Quran forgot? That the one who eat food, he can he can order food to be blessed, and feed thousands of people from a few fish. According to Islam, Allah he sent him seven wheel in sandwiches, which is funny. Seven wheels. Okay. Yeah. So you see here with with Jesus, every rule of nature is broken. Jesus can stay without food for forty days. Jesus have no father, correct? Did I thought he does. Who is his father? According to the Bible. No, the father he was talking about. Oh, the father as a human. I mean, he have a father. He have a mother. Oh, have okay. a father? No, he don't. So, Jesus have no father by the flesh. He should have a father, right? And that is breaking the rules of nature of a human being, correct? Yeah. Every human being, the Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِيرًا. So when the Quran mentioned that we made it. Uh, we made the human being nasabasar. Even in the interpretation, they say that a human being can have sex with his own daughter because if she is a daughter out of marriage, she is not considered as a daughter. But the important for us, the Quran confirm that every human being after Adam is born yeah. by sex. Can and we go back to what we were talking about? We, we are. We are. We would not leave. It no, you he. know when you are talking about the food thing. No, no, we will go. We are still here with the nature of Jesus. It is he who created the man from water. Then he established relationship of lineage by sex. Hmm? By marriage. What is the lineage of Jesus? Broken. His mom. No, no, broken. Because it says Sahar. Sahar is a man and a woman. Wasn't Mary his mother? Exactly, but there's no sex. That yeah, it, that's according to the Bible. Though. No, no, no. According to your Quran, I'm showing you Quran now. I'm not showing you why. The Quran says Mary she have no husband, correct? Yeah. Okay. So the rule of Jesus, all of it is broken. So how come the eating food is the problem? There's no father. There's no husband. There, he's not created from mud as Adam. The Quran says the same similarity of Adam is the same as uh, 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 Jesus. He said to him, be, and he was. Because even Adam, Allah did not create him by saying, be. Allah created mud, and then he fashioned the mud, and then he breathed into the mud. And then after what's the, that... What's the problem with this? The problem, see, I'm showing you now that the logic yeah. of the verses where speaking about Jesus eating food is broken is a silly argument because if this is what make Jesus not God well yeah. there's a million things make him God walking in water resurrect, resurrecting people from death making the blind see making the one who cannot walk walk forgiving sin isn't it the Quran says who is going to forgive sin save Allah no but it's as simple as this um, Allah doesn't eat and Jesus eats and all Allah was saying okay, is but that you see, he doesn't eat you see Allah does not eat you say it right yeah okay that's what Allah says in the Quran Jesus before he became a man he was not yeah. eating too yeah but he was eating after that oh, so he can he can stay without food so the argument of he can eat is proving again that he is almighty because there is no limit of almighty. I remember you are the one who keeps saying yeah, God can no, do anything. You're, can you're do anything. changing the you're yeah. changing the word can. I mean can and don't. Allah okay. can okay. eat but he doesn't. Okay. Eat. Okay, uh, we will use the word can me and you. Can we? Okay, okay. and I want you to okay. be now honest with me please. I don't want okay. you to change your thought in a second. Can Allah do whatever he want? He can, but he chooses not to. Okay, but the question is, if Allah, he say, he question if he can, 
That's mean he cannot, yeah. correct? Where did he question if he can? This is not the question. No, I want to you. I want you to give me the answer. If I say, how okay. can I fly when I don't have a wing? Obviously, yeah. I cannot fly without wings, correct? Okay. Okay. So do we agree now when I say, how can I fly without wings? That's mean I am saying clearly, I am disabled. I cannot. How I can I? You know. So I'm using a logic of how I can. Because simply, okay, obviously, yeah, I cannot. I so understand. we agree. Okay. So if we show you now the same about your Allah saying the same, you can't say Allah did not say that. So, so let us see what your Allah said. Allah okay. in the Quran, He questioned how He can have a son. If you don't can, you tell me the chapter, please. Sure, sure. Chapter. Here we go. So Allah, He says here, how Allah can have a son, and He don't have a girlfriend. Now, when Allah He have a, 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 a when He have a. a, a he cannot have a son in chapter 6 verse 101 and because he don't have a girlfriend Allah is not saying I can have a son he's saying I cannot because simply I don't have a girlfriend wait you didn't tell me the chapter chapter Did 6 I said chapter 6 verse yeah. 101 I'm on that okay is it the cattle chapter 6 is the cattle it's not saying anything about the son. Read the verse, read the verse. How he can have a son. Verse 101. Oh, 101. Yeah. I thought you said one. Sorry. No, I said 101. <clears throat> How can he have children when he has no wife? Hmm. Because he has no wife. It's if he has a wife, then you. he can. But you remember what you said to me? You said to what? me, Allah, He can always. And I said but to look, you, I said to you, listen, look, no, no, listen, listen, Hassan. It's okay, a, on, don't don't, don't do the same what Muslims they do with me. You see, I, go on, go I always respect our person when he starts okay, lying. I respect you as long as you are honest with me. Uh, you two minutes ago, less than a minute, I ask you, if I say to you, how can I fly, and I don't yeah. have wings? Obviously, I'm saying I cannot fly, and the reason I don't have wings, correct? Yeah. Okay. So. I but cannot. if you have wings, you can fly. If I have wings, exactly. So now Allah. But if you have wings. But if I have wings, but I don't. So I'm, I, I don't. I'm not capable. So when Allah says, can... well, well, Allah He says, how can I have a son and I don't have a girlfriend? Yeah, but if he has a girlfriend, then he can have. Exactly. A son. So Allah is not Almighty God. My God, because He do not he need choose... a girl. Hold on. You see, you just got your God busted. My God do not need a girlfriend <laughs> to oh, have I a see. son. Your God, he need a girlfriend to have a son. Oh, I understand what you're saying. So now you're Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. So your God is not God. Is there a tafsir for this? So I can understand My friend, it's very more. simple. I mean, even this one, tafsir, no problem. Open any tafsir. No, just in, just in case, just in case. Okay, you want to be Abbas again? <clears throat> yeah, go on. Okay, chapter 6, verse 101. I didn't see this verse before. Well, this is why I'm here, my friend. The Lord, he sent me to serve you today. There must be a reason why he the Lord, said that. The Lord, he sent me today to serve you with a note. And this note, will, you will question about it in the judgment day. Watch my words. I'm telling you. The origin of the creator of the heaven and the earth, he created them. They were nothing before such a creation. How can he have a child when they have for him? He have a, no concert, no wife. <laughs> this is uh, Ibn Abbas, your favorite. Hmm. And who said that even the God of the Christians, that do the, the Christians believe that God have a wife? I mean, this is silly. Like, you know, as, as if I, I go uh, to somebody who is driving a car run by gas, and then I say to him, uh, how you can drive a car and we don't have a grass? I mean, what does have to do with this? Yeah, because if he's God, he can have a son without having a wife. He can have a son who need a wife because God is God. And who said the Christian believe God? Actually, if the God of the Christian says to us, I have Jesus because I have sex with the women, then he obviously this is a story is a lie. We will not follow him. We won't believe him. If God have sex and then he had a wife, you know, I mean, so he cannot have a son without having sex like me and like you. 
So the God of Islam saying clearly, I am the same like you. I am incapable. I am limited. I cannot do this unless I have it. And the funny, Allah he did not even use the word wife. He used the word girlfriend, sahiba. What's the word can in Arabic? Uh, kun. In that verse. Kun. No, here. Here you see, yakun. It's coming from yakun. Anna yakun lahu walad. Yakun. Can, yakun, kun. This is about be. Can. can be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, in the same time, let me show you something. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Allah, he said, if you want to have a wife, he will take that wife from ourself. How many... How many Allah you have as a Muslim? What do you mean? Can I see the chapter and the verse? Yeah, but I'm asking you how many Allah you have. One. Do he have a family? No. Do he have tribe? No, he has like close things like the angels. Okay. And the prophets. chapter chapter twenty one verse number seventeen, it says, "Had we intended." To take a pastime, the word lahu actually in Arabic means women. Women. Can, is there so, proof that it means women? Because yes, I don't speak. Even your translation is saying that. Read it. In my tr translation here, it says pastime. Okay, what pastime mean? I don't know. It can mean it says. No. Why? How do you want you to play games? Games. That's what it says. Who is yeah. this? Who is this stupid translator? The translation, Muhammad Sarwar. That's an idiot, you know. Yeah, this is needed. The word Lahu. Uh, let us go to Ibn Abbas, shall we? Okay, yeah. Okay. Chapter 21, verse number 17. I advise you not to read this uh, Sarwar anymore. I think he is using Google Translation. Allah revealed the following when he said that the angels are, are Allah daughters. If mean we wish to have a wife, you see the word wife? Yeah. Okay. So the translation is false. So Allah is saying, if we want to have a wife, we will take it from us. Us who? The maidens of paradise. But the, okay, you see my friend? But he doesn't say that he's going to... Go no, 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 no. I want you to focus with me, Hassan. Okay. The word us, us, if those are a creation of Allah, they are not us. Yeah, but he says from among. Among us? No, from us, from among. So no, like... no, no, no. From, um, like, you see, this is a translation. Still reading the stupid translation. Reading okay. from uh, from us. We, we yeah. taking it from us. So in order to Allah to use the word us, that means there's many Allah. If he's one, then there's no us. And now the Muslim, they cannot say to us, he is using the word us like we, majestic, because now he's talking about taking a wife as a partner. Correct? Yeah, but he doesn't need to have no, 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 he need to, he need to. He says, if we want to talk to have a, to have a son, we, have, we have will take it from the ear. You see, you are not listening, my friend. If I need, if I have, if I'm going to have a son, then yeah. I'm going to choose a wife from us. So but maybe Allah, they, my friend, maybe they had a son or daughter already and he chooses to get it from my them. Friend, like focus, Mary focus, had focus, Jesus. focus. Allah is saying, I show you the verse saying, Allah, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend, correct? We saw that already. Okay. 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 And now, Allah is saying, and if I want to have a wife, <laughs> I will have it from us. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So us who? And Allah is going to marry angels? <laughs> is Jibreel a female? Or Allah is a homosexual. Stuck for Allah. But it's stuck for Allah. I mean, this is not me. Allah is saying He will marry you from us. I said to you, who's us? If women who they are paradise and paradise they are us, that means those women are the same as Allah from His kind. Because you cannot marry a mosquito to a cat. 
Well, what's wrong with him having a girlfriend? This is not the question. We are okay. questioning the ability of this God, and his ability is limited, and he is telling you what kind of girls you like. <laughs> what if that's his pre preference? Exactly. <laughs> And he preferred to marry from us. So if Allah is one of his kind and there's no one like him and there's no other Allah and he is not from a tribe, he is not from a family, then all of this statement is a joke. Because us who? I don't know. Maybe he that's the Has, way he likes Hassan, to do it. I just heard you laughing. Uh, did, you, did you leave Islam in your heart already? I thought it was a bit funny. It's funny. I heard you laughing. So you left Islam already. You just laughed at Allah. No, I might need to do more research. No, no, no. You are out of Islam. You tell me. You see. You tell me. I, I need to do more research. I don't believe you. You are out of Islam already, and you are laughing from your heart. And I heard that you try. You try to hide it inside you. You could not hold it. <laughs> It's because I never saw this before. You never saw it's coming. It's what you are talking to Christian friends, my friend. I will show you what you never saw before. So now me and you, we are laughing at those statement, and you cannot deny that you are laughing because this is a joke. <laughs> this is cannot be God talking. Like I know I go to my neighbor and says, Hello, if I want to have a son, okay, I will have a wife from us, not from you. Like hello. And like the guy who said to me, What's wrong with my daughter? He don't like my daughter. Who cares now? We are talking about God. This is God logic. I feel bad for laughing. You feel bad for laughing? I feel good for you are Why? laughing at Islam. Because my friend, I'm here trying to save your soul from this deception. Do you notice with me how stupid this religion is and you, you, you are doing your best trying to jump from place to place to place? Sorry Allah, about that. Allah needs a space to be in. Allah, he cannot be inside a man. You said he can. The second we show you why he cannot, you regret. So your logic is totally against what Islam teach because you are trying to be a smart person using your common sense. But in Islam, yeah. there's no common sense. Islam is a I tried, stupid. I tried to, but yeah. obviously it failed. You failed, thank you very much. So <laughs> you failed and this is my success. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord for that. The Lord today, he made you call me so we can share together something glorifying his name and something will make you leave this God. So why you don't say, Hassan, I'm out of this religion? You just laugh at it. I don't know. Just say It's it. going to be it's hard to do. You just already agree. I mean, you are just saying now to me, I don't know if I can say it now. I'm afraid. It's hard. Yeah, but, but I might need to do more research. No, you did already. You did already, my friend. Am I lying because to you? Because this is this yes, is yes. only one Hassan, thing. Hassan, no, you didn't. Hassan, lie. did I lie to you? No. Everything no. I showed you is from your books, correct? But it's only one thing out of loads of. My friend, no, no, no. Hold on. You see, you are a pro, you know. Did you did you see the uh, the previous video about pocket? The pocket. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, there is a video of Sheikh uh, 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 Mink. Uh, it's it's about leak in the pocket. Mufti. Yeah, there's leak in the pocket. So yeah. you hear how this is how I, I I feel you and uh, many Muslims who call me. Yeah. You are like a person. Look at this picture with me. I'm okay, not, it's I'm delayed. Not, I'm not yeah. trying to make fun of you again, Hassan. Just remember that. You know, I consider you as my. I don't know how old are you, but I would say you are my younger brother. And really, I want to help you. Thank you. So, you are a person who is looking at the pocket, and this pocket is leaking from many holes in it. And you are talking to Christian Prince who keep putting water. And then you could keep putting your fingers over holes, but you have only 10 fingers. And you are out of fingers, obviously. There was only one hole. And yeah, I saw that. What one? Hole? All of this is a hole. Allah is a physical being, is a spirit. So how God can? But I had, I had no problem with that. It's no, you only have a this... problem. No, you have a problem because in the beginning you said no, he's a spirit. So obviously you have imaginary God against what you thought, and now he is not. So this is a problem. Secondly, if God cannot be a spirit, he cannot be God too. Remember, I mean, if he he cannot be a spirit, he is not a spirit. He obviously he cannot. So the limitation again, the same as he cannot be a man. And spirit making God, it's more fit for God to be spirit because that will make possible by nature to be everywhere. For he is a spirit. 
He's not a physical. But how do you know? How do you know he's a man? You just showed me one shin. That's it. You know, I'm all. not saying. I, no, I just say that Allah He cannot be a man according to the logic of Muslims, right? And this is what the Quran is saying because Allah He says that Jesus He eat food. You know, He's a man, and uh, He's uh, you know He's like Adam, like He's a man. Uh, but Allah He cannot be like Adam. He cannot be like Jesus. But Jesus can do way more than Allah. And Jesus is capable of doing what Allah cannot do. Allah cannot have yeah. someone like Jesus unless he have a girlfriend. Well, the father of Jesus, he do not need to have a girlfriend in order to have Jesus. So the nature of your God is limited as a limit, the limitation of a man. So everything about him says he's a man. He cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. He, he, and he's the one saying that. And imagine he is not even saying, I can't have a son unless I have a spouse. He just used the word sahiba which is unacceptable from a Why? human being, in the, a, 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 a Muslim or an Arab person in the Middle East, if you say, I have a sahiba, yeah. sahiba in Arabic, it's mean a woman for fun, not, not wife, this is not respect. Sahiba oh. is not even a girlfriend. See, sahib is a friend, a friend for fun. You sahibuni, so we go together for fun. Where you did know? it say sahiba? And I just showed you for, for God. No, but I'm reading it now. It's, it doesn't. It says lahu. You were talking about lahu. No, it says sahiba. Read with me carefully. Here we go. Let us go back to the verse. Here we go. One o one, and this is the okay. word in Arabic. Here we go. Let me read it for you. Lahu sahiba. Okay. See, and if you don't believe yeah. me, you can copy that word exactly. I'm showing the screen. You know, yeah. you do not need to know Arabic. And you can uh, post it even in your Islamic translation saying concert, correct? It says what? Concert, concert. What concert mean? Uh, like a signif significant other. No, a concert. Like a partner. Like partner a partner for fun, not, you know, a sexual partner maybe. Not a wife. But it doesn't say sexual. Okay, let's go to the dictionary. For me, I don't care. I don't care about translation, by the way, because this is not my, you know. But uh, but the the yeah. Arabic it says sahiba. Doesn't say doesn't say wife. In Arabic, the word wife is zawja. You know. Oh. Yeah. So sahiba, how he can have a son if he don't have a sahiba? So the God of Islam obviously is leading me to understand that he cannot do what God can do. For he is limited like me. If you ask me, do you have a children? I would say, how I can have a children when I don't have a wife or even a girlfriend? Because in order to have a children for a human being, he needs yeah. a woman, regardless if she is a wife or not wife, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, when I translate, it says owner. It's what? It says owner when I translate. Owner? Like the owner of something, yeah. That's fast translation. You can change translator. Here we go. Let us change. This is... Uh, this is Yosef Ali. I can go yeah. to Hilali and Khan. Let us see Hilali and Khan what he will say. Okay. And as you see, I'm not showing you my own, you know. Here we go. Here the translated is a, as a wife. Which is false translation again. You know, any, any Arab person, he knows that the word sahib means girlfriend or friend. Then why is there so many Arabic Muslim? If it's because like the, because of the sword, who, who there? Who there? If I am now, I am an Arab. If I now yeah. not live in the Middle East, do you think I can say two words of what I just said to you? Yeah, because there's been Arabic um, people that called you before from the Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and they're what? And they dare to call you. They are. They are not, not known. If, if people know me, if they are speaking against Islam, nobody they, they will be killed immediately. No, they're speaking for. For Islam. Yeah, what I'm saying. The reason they are, because yeah. simply this is how the business is. You go with the wave. So the hypocrite people or the naive or the dummy, they are brainwashed. They grow up. You go in the Middle East. I go to the bathroom to do poo-poo, Quran. The Jamia is playing Quran. Bismillah, Allah, You go to have to eat. You hear the Jamia. You open the TV. You hear Quran. You open the radio. You hear Quran. You go to the school, you hear Quran. So I know everybody's praising this Quran, but nobody's speaking negative about it. So a child, he grew up, he thinks this is amazing. You know, when I was a kid, I thought my street is the widest street in the world. 
because mm. I never left that street. The second I left out that street, I noticed that my street is not really wide. You know what I mean? Yeah. So a Muslim is a person who is put is 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 uh, is jailed inside a box, and whatever he turned his face, but Prophet is amazing. The Prophet was the best. The Prophet is etc. Miracle in the Quran, scientific miracle in the Quran. All of it is a lie. I'm sure there can be other Muslims that can call you that have more knowledge than me. My friend, this. have you ever seen one call me and he was successful? Be honest. I thought I would be a bit smarter than the person you were talking to recently, but okay, failed. <laughs> hmm. But have you ever seen a Muslim who was able to call me and he was able to prove me wrong? After all, I have tens of thousands of videos and tens I haven't of thousands. Watched, I haven't watched all of well, them, I open not invitation, too much. Open invitation, go and see. So my friend Hassan, I want you to to, to tell me, why you don't yeah. say I am out of Islam? Let me ask you. you know, because I, I told you okay, hold on, that hold on. it's only one thing. No, no, hold on. Before you call me, I was showing yeah. you a verse about a king, his name is Solomon, who died standing yeah. because he was holding a stick. I heard about that, but I don't know anything too okay. much about the history. But, 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 no problem. There's no even this one need history, my friend. Come on, Hassan. So okay, okay. If I come to you and I say I have a grandfather, yeah, he died and he was a king. Okay, and he died yeah. and uh, my grandmother she go to, to talk to him. He don't answer. He's holding a stick standing. Next month she came. Still he's doing the same. He don't go to the bathroom. He don't go to eat. You know, he don't, he, and then nobody noticed that he is dead, brother. Yeah. Are you going to laugh at me for telling you this story, or you will believe it? Be honest with me. I need to read the whole story. Okay, let us read together. Here we go. Chapter okay. 34, verse number 14. Your English is better than mine, so I will let you read it. Okay. Uh, which translation should I read? It doesn't matter. All of them are garbage. Okay. Then, when we decreed Solomon's death, nothing showed them this his death except a little worm of the earth, which kept gnawing away at his staff. So when he fell down, the jinn saw plainly that if they had known the unseen, they would not have tarried in the humiliating penalty of their task. Hmm. Well, what is this story about? The story that Solomon, he died. Yeah. And Allah don't want the genie to know that he is dead so he made him die when he stand and he was holding his staff and then brother the genie yep. they were working to finish the synagogue for Suleiman and they did not notice the king is dead why because he was holding the staff so Hassan I want you to be honest with me where does it say this Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, go on. I want you to be honest with me. Yeah. If anyone in the world he told you this story. Yeah. Do you really believe it or you will laugh at it? But he's talking about the jinn, so yeah. No, what jinn? It's not humans. No, human. The Suleiman is a human. It says jinns here. No, no, no. Suleiman, he, he hide it from the jinn, but the jinn and the rest, everybody. It's not only the jinn. What if he was? What he was in the middle of the desert? He's a king in his in his house, standing in in the desert. That will make it even more funny. So the guy now in the desert, and he's yeah. he, he dies is standing, and all the storms and all the rain and all etc. And nobody notices he's dead, and the guy is <laughs> because Allah wanted to be like this. Yeah, okay, see, Allah wanted to be okay, but hold on. Yeah. So Allah, He wanted to hide His death. Why he, Allah, He don't make Him live just a few months more and that's it, the story is solved. Let us read Ibn Kathir. Maybe there's a reason for this. Let us see the reason. A, Let us see the reason. Re read with me, read, read with me Hassan. Okay. This is Ibn Kathir. Okay. Ibn Kathir talking at me. The death of Suleiman. Allah tells us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn who were subjugated to him to do hard labor. The re he remind, the reminded leaning, so he rem reminded le leaning on his stick, which yeah. was his staff. As Ibn Abbas, here we go, this is your favorite Ibn Abbas again. As Ibn Abbas, may Allah bless him, pleased with him, 
and Mujahid and Hassan and Qutada and other Sayyid. He stayed like that for long, goal, you know, a long time. You know, this is long. You can imagine how long it is. Long time, nearly a year. I mean, the guy is dead for a year, and nobody noticed that he is dead for a year because he was holding a staff standing. I mean, a human being after two days, his body will decay and his body will fall apart. And since when, if you die, holding a stick, you don't fail. I mean, this is the most silly thing ever. He's holding a stick, he is not tied up to a piece of wood placed in the ground, or yeah. he's crucified. So for a year, and when the earth creatures, which kind of worm ate through his stick, he be it became so weak, brother and fell in the ground, brother. This is a story from God, Hassan. <laughs> but wait, what's, what's the point behind the story? There's nothing, it's a stupid thing. Muhammad, he is an idiot. <laughs> the Jew, this is a legion from the Jews. This, there's, there's a book, it's called The Legion of the Jews. You can go and search it in, in Google, it's for free. Yeah. The Legion of the Jews, Muhammad, he copies stories the Jews, they tell to their kids. He put it in the Quran. Idiot. You think this is serious? You think this is real? Wait, the the last sentence is the point of the story. Yeah, what is the last sentence? Tell me. It became clear to jinn and men alike that jinn do not know the unseen as they used to imagine and try to deceive people. Ah, and? So Allah is saying that jinn and men don't see the same way. It's also become clear to jinn and men alike. They are the same that the jinn do not know the unseen, what this is seen. So if Allah wants to show that he can hide things from them and that is unseen, this is stupid because the unseen is not unseen. They are seeing the guy, he's dead. That's because of their foolishness. I do not need to, this is not unseen. If you place a dead man in front of me and he is not talking, he's not moving for a year, isn't it obvious that he's dead? Yeah, I need to do. I need to do research on this because I don't know anything. My friend about Hassan, this. you do not need to do research. Already, you are, did you did the research? This is stupid. No, because I actually don't understand. No, you understand. I don't understand. No, you understand, but you are trying to play dumb now. No, I promise I don't understand. Well, you understand. You are the one who called me. Says what the problem? No, because that you was are the for one who different. said to me, Allah can't do anything. That and was for a different topic. Ah, it's the same. It's the same. All that all the road leads us lead us to Rome. So Allah can do no. Allah cannot. Allah can do everything. No, He cannot. Allah says stupid things. No, He cannot say stupid things. He can say stupid things. He's a stupid person. There's no way that yeah. There's, there's no way there's God. He says such a thing. Let me ask you. Okay. Do, do women have a sperm? No. Okay. Said that. Does the Quran says women have a sperm coming from her ribs? No, not that I know of. Okay. What if I show you that this is what the Quran teach? I just want to let you know that I'm not like a sheikh or My scholar. friend, who cares of sheikh? All of them, they are idiots anyway. I don't want you to be okay. a sheikh. I never saw okay. a sheikh, he can answer anything. Okay. Go watch all my debate with the sheikhs. You will see they are the most stupid one it was in any debate I have. Yeah, I've seen some of them. Okay, so don't tell me a sheikh. A sheikh does not make it better, make it worse. So, All right. here we go. This is the Quran and this is Nikathir. Okay, can you tell me the chapter, please? Chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Have you ever heard of a God? He teaches followers that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone of the man. It says uh, gushing fluid. Yeah, gushing fluid. This is ejaculation. How do you know it's It is. It says here, read it carefully. And even your prophet explain it. You know, here we go. Meaning, the sexual fluid that comes out, out. You see it? Breast, is that, um, breast okay. in forth from the man and the woman. So, are you showing me a tafsir? Yes, this is tafsir of Mikathir. But the same is the Quran. What is the Quran? Created from water gushing forth. That water is gushing forth, gushing out. What is that? This is the ejaculation of the men and the women. 
And then I think Zaka Naik was talking about this. Zaka Naik is an idiot. Zaka Naik, don't tell me. Come on. I, 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 I remember have, watching. Uh, Hassan, videos. Hassan, I have a request for you. Can, can you promise me to do something? If I can do it, then. Okay. Yeah. Do you promise me to send an email to Zaka Naik? He won't him, read it. He will. He read emails. He read his emails. Tell him, yeah. I want you to debate Christian Prince. Why you don't debate Christian Prince? He made a lot. Why of don't mistakes. you ask him? Huh? Why don't you ask him? I ask him. I made videos of what I would do. I mean, he would not even, you know, what I would do. Go and kiss his hand to come and debate us. I'm trying to have No, you him. can send him an email. My friend, tell him, tell him, I'm a Muslim. I called him and tell him, be honest, whatever happened. Tell him, whatever happened. He, 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 tell him, be honest. I, he made me laugh at this now. He made me laugh. I don't know what to say to him. Please, can you do something and refute him? What do you think? I'm trying to drag him to 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 talk to me, but the coward yeah. he, he 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 would never do it. So, as you see, those who you call them or by name, Zakanak, Potato, and Potato, they are the coward. They will never. They will lose their career. He will be humiliated in five seconds because he have nothing to say. And 99% of the answers he gave, it's not even Islamic answers. As an example, they ask him about the virgins, the whore. How come only women she will have whore? He said, brother, sister, find the word whore in the woman and word. And it's the man and female. And but sister, I have a great news for you that your mother, she will have whore too. Like, what the heck? His, his, I think you are Zakir Naik undercover. He, you know, his, 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 she is saying to the women, you will have yeah. whore too? But whore, the Quran says clearly, yat mutahunna. You see, any stupid idiot who claimed to be, yeah. he claimed to be a sheikh, anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that there is a noon in Arabic, it's called noonun niswa, the N for women. So when you add this N at the end of the letter, and at the end of the word, that make it for female. I thought he speaks Arabic. He don't. Even did that, he don't. Oh. They don't. They are donkeys. So a woman, brother, sister, the word whore, it is one word. And then when they have to do that, and all the rest of that, eh, takbir, Allah, Akbar. Crazy. You know, like not even a single one of those 10,000 listening. He says to him, What you are talking about, you idiot. This is whore, is a female. Even the Quran described their vagina. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are females. Yeah. So how you, cause even you, how you name yourself such a person to say he can answer? It's I didn't crazy. know he said that. He said that uh, all, all his answer is silly, stupid. My friend, when your audience are dummies, you are genius. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Like, I, I will give you an example. Like, I was the most handsome kid between my cousins, but all of them, they look scary. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you understand how, you know, how scary I am. So, is this is how Zach and is. Everybody thinks he's a smart, but this guy is a joke. He's a, he's, you know, because he's speaking to dummies. And as long as you are supporting Islam, whatever you say, just say anything, support Islam, everybody, hey, Allahu Akbar, takbir, wonderful, brother, you destroy him, brother. I don't know which video you're talking about, because everyone knows search that for the Zakir Naik whores, speaking about the everyone knows the whores are females. Uh, search for it, Zakir Naik. I made a video about it, you should find my video, play in his video in it, you know. But all the Muslims know this, they're females. Hey, so, so how come nobody said to Zakir Naik, it's not true? Because I didn't see this video. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you can search it. Maybe I can find it for you. Okay. So, my friend, what, what, what do you think? Aren't you going to leave Islam? You already left Islam. Right? Wait, it's let's a... finish this um, this one we're talking about. Okay. So, everything in Islam does not make sense. It's silly. It's stupid. You know? Uh, you know, I, I will ask you. As long as we're talking about diversions. Yeah. Okay. If I come to your house and I am promoting a new religion, let us say I am, I am Muhammad, huh? yeah. and then I come to you and say, there is one sentence I repeat, I like to repeat. Which is the blessing of your Lord you will both, you will deny. If I keep saying to you this sentence nonstop, does that make me a great uh, poet man or make me an idiot? Who have nothing to say i knock at your door and then i'm yeah. going to make for you um, a book from god look at this this is god talking the same sentence 
Have you ever watched Arab music? Have you? Which of the blessings of your Lord will you deny? Uh -huh. What is he talking about? Uh, stupid thing, genie, smoke. He created genie from smoke. There is two seas will meet and they will never meet together. And the Muslim, they make a miracle about it when the fact it's a joke because the God of Islam, he speak here about there's two seas. One is salty and one is a fresh and they will never meet together. They will never meet. He's just, he's just asking why would you deny it? But why he's repeating it? Because it's like um, just the way that he's saying No, it. because this is stupid. I do not need to repeat it 1000 times. I'm God. This is God talking. You know, every two seconds I say, well, no, what is this? Same time, doesn't make sense. Let us go I with this one. I think that's very subjective. Let us, let us go with this one. When the Quran because you, says, might, you well, might like it, someone else might not no, like but it. But in Arabic, my friend, no. In Arabic, when you make a point, if you repeat yeah. the same sentence twice, you're lost. This is how Arabic point. Because you cannot. That's mean you are you, you have a lack of uh, words, you know? You are using okay. the same sentence twice. That's a weakness. So you will see like there is there is a al in Arabic, it's called al-mu'allaqa. They hang it in the Kaaba before Islam. Seven of them written by seven Christians. And yeah. they don't repeat the same sentence twice. And it's thousands of lines, not two lines or like this here, a chapter of uh, uh, a few lines. So thousands of lines and they never repeat. And it's a real point, not the rap stupid. Like I saw a rat and she was so fat and I gave her, she stole my hat. This is, this is stupid, there's no meaning. And this is exactly, but let, let, let me show you here. When the God of the Quran, I don't know if you heard uh, the Muslim, they make a video about miracle in the Quran, that there is two yeah. water and those two water, they don't mix the fresh water and the salty water. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah. Is that true? I've seen it. Okay, but it's is, true. It, is it true? I saw the, I saw the videos. Okay, yeah. first of all, that's not true because always water mix. But when there's a current, it takes time for water to mix. It always maybe it just mix. maybe just visually. No, no, no. They were talking about yeah, visually. visually or not. No, the Quran. Look what the Quran says. Okay. The two water will never mix. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So it's not. They are. They will not even touch each other. There's a barrier between them. You see the word barrier. Yeah. Between them, a barrier. Between the can two you, water you see in the videos, those, there's no barrier. There's water can you give me the chapter, please? Yeah, this is a chapter of 55, and this is verse yeah. number 19 and 20. And this is about uh, the God of Islam, because he's a fool. He claimed can that... You go, can you go on the tafsir, please? I will show you tafsir, no problem. He, he, you know, he claimed that the, the, water, the salty water and the fresh yeah. water they never ever mix never so okay. the god of islam trying to explain why there's a fresh water and why there's salty water i thought isn't this one to do with heaven because no. he is talking about heaven here yeah i'm talking about uh, your god he makes always things for life you know the verse after have nothing to do with the verse before it this is what islam is about you know muhammad is just making a rap is just being silly so it's because it was um, not organized ah so it's not his thought is not organized ah, okay so now the revelations are different too ah, the how revelation is different oh, okay you see i was missing understanding the whole thing you know thank you hassan for correcting me uh, let me just look at it <laughs> no my friend so if we go now this is chapter 55 and we yeah. go to verse number 19 and, and 20 let us read together 19 okay Okay, hold on. Uh, here. All right. Here we go. Remember the Muslims in their videos, they say to you, oh, this is salty water. I mean, you know, they don't mix a brother. This is... well, you can go right yeah. now to the kitchen, get a cup of salt water and cup of fresh water and put it in one pot. You will see they mix immediately. But this is not the Quran speaking about. It says here, it is he... Mm who has let free of the two seas. There's two seas. One yep. is a salty water and one is a fresh water. So the God of his time, he think that fresh water, there's a sea of fresh water. Okay. One but is they, it doesn't say that in the Quran. No, it says that. It says who will let it the It doesn't say salty and sweet. It just says two seas. 
No, it says, هذا أذب فرات وهذا ملح أجاج. This is Quran. Chapter 25, verse number 53. 2553. Yeah. Okay, let me check. هو الذي مرج البحرين. هذا عذب فرات وهذا ملح أجاج. Okay. So, yeah. uh, two says, one is salty and one is a fresh. Okay. Yeah. And then he set a barrier, a complete partition between them. See, in the Muslim video, they deceive people. They say, they don't pause this part. There's a complete partition. They say to you, concentration, different concentration, the salt concentration, blah, 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 all the garbage. But this is not what the Quran is saying. Between them, there's a barrier which none of them can transgress, none. But this is not true about the salty water and the salt first water. They can, right? If you make a river, always the river yeah. go in the sea, they go and they mix and the, you know, the river will disappear in the sea. Meaning... Yeah, maybe he's talking visually. No, let us see. No, the, you see, the, he used the word barzakh. Barzakh, okay. barzakh is a piece of land. And they lie when oh. they made those videos. So, so they don't transgress upon each other, which would spoil the character of the water. Like, it would not be totally fresh and will not be totally salt which were created by Allah so the Quran claimed that it's a miracle that Allah he made two seas for our benefit and he will never let the water which is a fresh mix with the salty otherwise we will be in trouble he will are you sure it means um, barrier I mean land yes yes uh, it says barrier yeah I will show you the word barrier the word barzakh is, an, is a land piece of land why does it say barrier here? Okay, let me show you. Here we go. We continue. Okay. Uh, here we go. Actually, there. Read it with me. Meaning, he placed a barrier of land between the two types of water. Do you see it? Um, yeah. Okay. So why they lie making those videos? And Zach and Nick, he made a video about it. But it's a The Quran, it's chapter 25, 33. It says that the water and the big thing together. <laughs> and it's very clear that the prophet will be correct. A scientist had made a daughter with the dead from Japan. He said that it's the truth, true. <laughs> and the concentration of the water, the next thing, when the whole thing is about barrier of land between the two water, have nothing to do with concentration of salt water. The Quran is saying it clearly, well, I will never let them mix. I have a barrier, a land between them. Wait, what's the issue with this? This is stupid. So why? This so is, uh, no, no, let me tell you why, why it's stupid. Because okay. the, the fresh water we have is coming from the sea anyway. And there's no barrier. It's a cycle. This fresh water keeps going. We yeah. drink it, right? We drink it. It goes in the sewage. Either it's going to disappear by the sky. If it, Let's say, like in Saudi Arabia, next to uh, Mecca, there's a big lake yeah. of shit. Excuse me, of shit. It's called uh, the, the lake of uh, Misk. Imagine they call mm -hmm. it misc, misc, you know, misc like perfume, <laughs> because it's like a, it's like a for for a joke, but it's a lake okay. of poopoo, you know. Now this this water there is going to vibrate, correct? I don't know. I've never what been there. You don't know? Okay. Well, I would, I would, I would. <laughs> Come on, Hassan. The water. If you put your laundry outside. Okay, yeah. your laundry is wet. Where is the water will go? The sun will come and the water will vibrate. Correct? Okay, yeah. Okay, that water will go where in the in the in the in the space in the sky. Correct? And then it will go up and make a cloud, and then the cloud will make rain again. But however, the rain can be yeah. can fail either in the sea or in the land. Correct? Yeah. And the rain is going to be fresh, so the, it's mixed, and they are not mixed. They are not uh, they are not separated. And even the rivers, the biggest river in the world is Amazon River, or the Nile River, or any river, all of them they end in the ocean. So it's a cycle. So when he say we never let them mix, it's a joke, it's a lie. So the Quran claimed that we made a miracle for you, that they will mm. never transgress, you see. He doesn't say they, they, like they go and cycle, and it's a, he says will never, ever transgress, which none of them can transgress. Do you see it? Yeah. But all of us, we knew, even now in Saudi Arabia, they have a salty water transformed into fresh water. Correct? Okay, yeah. So what do you mean to don't transgress? And not only that, you can swim inside the ocean sometime and you find a spring of water coming from the ground. It's a fresh water. It's possible. 
correct? I don't, I don't know what he's talking about here. Well, this, this is a crazy sees... guy. No, he is claiming that why you don't believe in Allah, the one who separated the two water for you. He put a barrier but which, between them. But which two waters is he talking about? We don't know. Which what? Which two waters is he talking about? He told you the two seas, one is a fresh and one is salty. <laughs> but which seas is he talking There's about? There's no such a thing. There's no water of fresh seas. It's a fiction. Do you remember when the, when the sun set in the murky water, the spring of murky water? Yeah, but that was in um, Zulkarnain's perspective. Okay, so why you expect this to be smarter? And the Zulkarnain perspective, where it says perspective, can you show me? I will do this with you, Hassan. You and all the Muslims. If yeah. you can show me in the Quran, it says that this is how he thought. Yeah. And Allah saying that, I will shave my 27 beard. It was 26 yesterday. 27. Because he said he found he found it. Exactly. So Allah saying to you, he found the sun sitting in murky water. Yeah. So Allah, Allah didn't find so it. So Allah reporting finding a, a false find? No, because Allah didn't find it. So no, found no, no, no. You see, they ask him, tell us about yeah. Zulkarnain. They ask Muhammad. They made a challenge for him, the Jews. Do you know Prophet Zulkarnain, the idiot Muhammad? He thought he's a prophet because they said so. So he made a story now. And there is a book written by a Syrian person about Zulkarnain, the man with the two horn. A man, mm. is, the, the person is a real person, he is Alexander the Great, but the story is fiction story. So Muhammad, he took the story and he put it in his Quran and he claimed that's from God. But look what he said. And this is why the Muslims, they come to defend their religion by all the fabrication they can. All right. If we read together, you... if we read together yeah. where in there it says that Allah, he said, he thought the sun is sitting in murky water. Can you set, send me the chapter, please? Chapter 18, verse number 86. Okay. Yeah, he found it by people. No, no, no. It says, read with me carefully, until when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Yeah. He found it. Okay, did, he, did it say he found it? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't say he thought. Um, but it doesn't say this, the sun's literally right there. No, it says because he found this he, until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Until now, Allah is talking. Correct? Maybe that was the closest don't, um, don't, don't tell me location. Let us uh, focus with me. Until, okay. until when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Where is that yeah. location? It's a location, but this is not true. But in the legion, there is a place where the sun set. So here we have two things confirmed to each other. He reached a place where the sun set. Otherwise, the sun set everywhere. Right? I don't know where you live right now, true. but the sun true, set true. everywhere. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, he reached a place, and that is a place where the sun set. So, this is number one find. Number two okay. find, he found it sitting in a spring of a black, muddy, muddy spring of water. Are you sure it says black, muddy spring? Well, it's in uh, Hamia. Hamia usually is a murky, and uh, 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 you see the Muslims are confused about. There's different reading for the the, the word Hamia. Some reading yeah. says Hamia, some readings say Hamia. However, both of them mean at the end it is murky and it's ugly and it is hot, boiling. So, and you will notice here it says spring. What Zakir Naik he explained? He says, brother. If you go brother to the ocean and you see the sun going in the ocean, so you think the sun is going in the ocean? But yeah, the, that's what I was. Watching. Okay, but it says that's here spring. Do you see the word spring? Yeah. There is no ocean. Well, he, it says water. Spring. It says a spring. Yeah, spring of water. No, no, hold on. He didn't. Even the word water is not even mentioned in Arabic. Are you sure? Oh yeah, here we go. Wajdah. Okay. Yeah. تغربوا في عين حمية عين. That's it. What does Hamia mean? Hamia, uh, the murky, the muddy, the, the hot. You said hot water. Yeah, no, no. Hamia, because it says Ain. Ain is a spring. Obviously, it must be a spring of water. You know? Yeah, so this, water. This is the word we used, but he did not use the word water. He used the word Ain. Ain in Arabic, it can be even your eye, you know? Okay, let me yeah. see what Hamia means. So, Hamia, let me show you even your prophet what he said. You, what, what do you think? Okay, let, let, let me ask you. Do you accept what your prophet explained the verse or you don't accept him? 
yeah if it's authentic hadith yeah. okay so why must Sahih, yeah, okay but you said to me that they told you yeah that this is in the perspective of Zulqarnain, correct yeah okay why they lie then why they lie to you why what do you why mean? Do, because muhammad he explained the verse oh i haven't seen the okay um, read, read, with me. read with me go Hold ahead on. you read it for us okay it's, it's gonna take a bit of time I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah وسلم, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water. Hmm. Okay, so? So why you are you just said to me in the perspective of Zulkarnain? <laughs> yeah, in the perspective the, of Zulkarnain. The dear prophet says that? He would say it because it it was revealed in the Quran. Okay, but he's saying, do you know where the sun set? So, yeah. so Quran was wrong or was right? So if Muhammad is saying, he agree that the sun yeah. set in murky water, this is obviously what the Quran is saying, that this is where it set. Wait. Correct? Wait, wait, wait. Um, does it say in, in the Arabic? In yes, yes. فَإِنَّا تَغْرُبُ فِي عَيْنٍ حَامِيَةٍ Sahih hul isna authentic. Um, Sahih in chain. Alright? Fa inna taghribu fi aynin hamiya. Is that the only hadith there is? It doesn't matter, my friend. Okay, are you saying your prophet now is a fool? He do not know what the Quran is saying. And Zakir Naik, he know better what the Quran means. But this is what happened. Because it's an embarrassment for anyone who believes in Islam to believe that the God of Islam is saying such a stupid, silly thing. So now we have to make fabrication. Says, yeah, I don't know why he said that. Uh, so, so you see, so obviously Muhammad, he is saying the sun set in murky water. Look, Muhammad is the one is asking the question. Do you know what the sun said? Correct? Yeah, because it doesn't, it doesn't go down into anything. Yeah, but who is the one asking the question? Muhammad. Yeah. The guy, he says, I don't know. Allah and his apostles know best. Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of man. So he said yeah, to him, you know where the set, I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. He said, it's set in a spring of water, which is mm. hot, not warm. Fast translation. Yeah, that's, that's wrong. That's wrong, correct? Yeah. So how Muhammad is a prophet then? Well, I don't know too much about this hadith. My friend, you do not know much. I mean, come on. So, so what we will do, each time we show you Muhammad saying, I do not know, and then we run forward. So yeah, why, that's why I asked for another Hassan, one. Hassan, why, you don't, why you don't say, I am out of Islam, my friend, right now? You are out of Islam already. You love at Islam. Close. I'm close. I'm close. You, you left, you're close to leave? No, you left already. You are just being a star, stubborn. <laughs> no, because this I don't know. Come on, if you, if I am you, I will convert to Islam now. After seeing this, look in, in Islam, brother, we notice now women they have testicles. Do you know why I'm not married, uh, Hassan? This between you, I will mute you too, so nobody hear it. You know, when when I heard the Quran saying that women have a sperm coming from their ribs, I got scared. Imagine Hassan. Oh yeah, we didn't finish that one. Hassan, imagine, brother, you marry a woman. We didn't finish that. Hold on, we go, we go. Imagine, brother, okay. you marry a woman. You go to the bedroom with her, and now she took off her clothes. Alhamdulillah, she's my wife now. I'm ready for it. I'm so excited. And then, like what? She take off her top, and boom! Like what? She have a breast testicles. That's deep. And this is why, brother, I'm scared, terrified, not to get married because Allah taught me that women they have a breast testicles in their breast. I don't want Where that. Where did it say that? Well, it says that. Here, hold on. Let's go back there. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we didn't finish that one. <clears throat> Here we go. Let us go back. I think I remember you, you were talking about this one time. Ah, the how location. Many, how many years you are watching my videos? Location of the necklace or something. Yeah. How many years you are watching my videos? Not years. Just a few days. Few days. Few days and this yeah. happened to you. <laughs> okay, listen. Now let us continue. As because long... I didn't know. I okay, didn't know about okay, hold on. So let us see. It says here. <clears throat> yep. Min bayni sulbi wa meaning yeah. proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. 
The back Can you give me the chapter, please? The backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Do you see the screen? Chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. 86, 6. Okay. Backbone of the... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I see it. You see it? Yep. I'm sure scientifically you are amazed with the knowledge of Allah and His Prophet. I don't know why he said that. Hassan, I advise you not to get married, my friend. <laughs> I mean, come on, you don't want to go with your wife with my respect to your... I don't know if you are married. Are you married? No, not yet. Don't do it. Because as you see, women, they lie to us. They don't have a breast. Those are testicles. <laughs> Honestly, brother, I'm, I'm telling you, I swear by Allah, look with me. The backbone of the man and the ribs of women, meaning it's yellow, fine texture, brother. Come I in. saw Zakir Naik's video. The guy is Zakir Naik again. <laughs> no, but I didn't see the rib one. I saw yeah. the backbone one. Well, you will not see the rib one because we ripped him off apart already. Um, so, uh, Hassan, come on. Why you don't say, mm. I am out of Islam? <laughs> <laughs> you are laughing at the Quran. You are laughing at the... So say it. Everybody is listening. I'm expecting your honesty. Because I, I could get in trouble for it. Ah, okay. So you are out of Islam, but you don't want to say it in public. Yeah. All right. Thank you, my friend. You just agree that you are out of Islam. So I am so happy for our friend Hassan, who called me and saying, "What's wrong with it?" And now he decides he is out of Islam, and you just agreed. Hallelujah.